Hi, I'm Christine Wells, creator of Control Your Balance, a comprehensive program which allows you to gain full control over your balance, improve your body awareness as well as your posture, and importantly, help prevent falls. Please enjoy this free video and be sure to go to the website, controlyourbalance.com. Thanks so much. Welcome. Thank you so much for coming. Wiggle your toes around. Try to feel the floor with your feet. Feel the floor with your feet. Now lift those toes up nice and easy. Go at your own pace. There you go. Good. Get that circulation flowing. Excellent. One more. And now lift those heels up and down. Contracting the calf muscles. Good. Excellent. Good. Two more. Good. Now let's grow taller. Grow taller up towards the ceiling. I like to act like there's a string pulling my spine up towards the ceiling. Now let's check your posture. Earlobes on top of shoulders. Shoulders right on top of hips. Those are square to the front. Contract those abdominals in. Always protect the spine. Chest is open. Chin parallel to the floor. Chin parallel to the floor. Excellent. And then we're going to do one more set of toe lifts. This will increase that circulation as well as strengthen your tibialis anterior right in front of your shin. And then lift the heels up and down, contracting those calf muscles. Excellent. Now take the right leg out and roll the ankle around in a circle. Good. Back the other way and point and flex the ankle joint. Good. And now switch sides, there left ankle roll, back the other way. Good, and point and flex the ankle joint. Excellent. Put your feet flat on the floor, reach those arms forward, and out. Good. Neck and shoulders stay down and relaxed. Your hands are at chest level. Good. Excellent. And now reach that right arm up to the ceiling and left. Stretch it nice and high. Good. Feel the lateral stretch, the stretch in your shoulders too. Now extend both arms straight down and making sure that your posture is in place, just reach your hands back, feeling the stretch in the biceps, shoulder, and chest. Good. And now relax the arms down and roll those shoulders up and back. Up and back will stretch out the front and strengthen the back, just like we want for proper posture, right? Take a deep breath in, fill those muscles with lots and lots of oxygen. One more set. We're going to reach those arms forward and stretch out. Good. Forward and stretch. Good. Two more times. Excellent. Last one. So hot. Too and much then stress. reach those arms up to the ceiling. Stretch it nice and high. Good. Two more. And then reach those hands down and stretch them back. Feel the stretch in front of the arm, shoulder, chest. And relax down. Shoulder rolls up and back. Good. Lift up here. And then let the weight of your head just Perfect. rest yeah. your ear towards your shoulder. And then come up. Deep breath in. Let the weight of your head rest your ear towards the other shoulder. Good. And up. Deep breath in. And out. 
One more deep breath in and out. Good. Sit up nice and tall in your chair. Scoot your hips back towards the back. Elongate your torso. Always grow taller. Always grow taller. Think about that. Okay. Hips in the back of the chair. Growing taller. Elongating your torso. Let's march our feet right and left. Push off the floor with those feet. Always use the floor. Good. Check your arm swing as your opposite arm is leg forward, meaning if your right hand is forward and your left knee is up, that's the proper way to walk. We want opposite arm is leg to keep us balanced. So this is good practice for walking all while sitting in your chair. Good. Now we're going to do heel digs right and left. Stretch out the back of that leg. Feel that stretch. Nice deep stretch in the back of the leg. Good. Hands are at chest level. No shrugging the shoulders. Neck muscles. Nice and relaxed. Switch to toes. Stretch that toe down. Top of the foot. I don't know about you, but I rarely stretch that muscle there. Good. Excellent. Good. And then single knee lifts, right and left. Excellent. Four more. And then switch to kicks, right and left. Contracting the thigh. Excellent. Four more. Good. Back to single knee lifts, right and left. Excellent. Abdominals contracted. And now switch to kicks, contracting that thigh. Good. Excellent. Good. And back to heel digs, right and left, stretching out the back of the leg. Four more. Good. And switch to toes. Reach that toe forward. Excellent. Four more. And then single knee lifts, right and left. Just one more set. Circulation flowing, right? And then single kicks, right and left. Contract that thigh each time. Good. Four more. Excellent. March those feet. Pick up those feet. Pick up those feet. Push off the floor. Roll through your ankle. Check your arm swing. Check your abdominals. Are they nice and contracted to protect your spine at all times? Excellent work, everybody. We're going to do two toe taps on the right side. Stretch out the right. Now left. Reach out that right left arm and left leg. Good. Stretch it out. Stretch. Good. Last one. Go at your own pace. Double kick on the right. Two kicks on the right. Two kicks left. Good. Again, right. And left. Now, double toe tap on the right side. And left. Good. Excellent. Good. Couple more. And now double kick on the right leg. Double left. Double kick, toe tap on the right side again. Stretch out the right. And left. Give it a nice deep stretch. Really feel that stretch. Good. Excellent. You got it. Last two. And now two kicks on the right leg. Two left. Good. Again, right and left.
Good. Now we're going to do two marches out to the sides and two marches in. Good. Excellent. One more time. And then single knee lifts, abdominals stay contracted. Four more, three, and then two marches out to the sides, and then two in. Excellent, push off the floor. Use those feet, good. And then single knee lifts. Excellent, four more, four, three, and then two marches out to the sides, two in. Good. Excellent. And then single knee lifts, right and left. Four more, four, three, back to double toe tap on the right side. And then left, stretch out the left. Really reach out that arm and leg each time. Last one. Now, two kicks on the right leg, contract those thigh. Good. Chest is open. You got it, last one. Now, two marches out to the sides, two in. Good, push off the floor. Good. Last one, single knee lifts, right and left. Good. Four more, four, three. Good, single heel dig. Sit up nice and tall in your chair. Heel digs with a bicep curl. Total body workout, full body workout, last three. Good job, V step, make a V with your legs, two forward, two in. Two out, two in. You got it. Good. And then single knee lifts, right and left. Excellent. Four more. Three. Good. Single heel digs, right and left. You got it. Four more. Four. Three. Good, V-step, V-step, we have two forward, two in. Excellent. One more. Good, single knee lifts. You got it. Last four, four, three, single heel digs, right and left. Abs stay tight, four, three, and then V-step, V-step, we have two forward, two in. Good. Single knee lifts, abs stay tight, four more, four, three, two, now, toe heel on the right and switch to the left. Good. You got it. Four more. Switch. Three. Good. Good. Now, ski slope, right heel forward, left toe back and switch. You could do one side at a time or both like I am. Hips in the back of the chair, last two. Now back to toe heel on the right, toe heel, together switch. Chin is parallel to the floor. You're gonna try to do this without looking at your feet. Increase that proprioception every chance you get, right? Good, you tell your legs and arms what to do. You know what they're doing without you looking at them. Nice proprioception. Now, ski slope, right heel forward, left toe back, and switch, good. Abdominals are contracted, four more, three, good, two. Feet together, toe heel on the right, chin is parallel, 
No looking at your hands or your feet. Increase that proprioception. Excellent work by all. Keep it going. Your pace is the best pace. As always, last two. Good. Now, ski slope. Right heel forward, left toe back. And switch. Abs tight. Good. Four. Three. Good. Single heel digs right and left. Bicep curl. You got it. Four more. Four. Three. Now, V-step, V-step. We have two forward, two in. Good. Excellent. Last two. Good. Single knee lifts. Abs stay tight. Excellent. Four more. Four. Three. Toe heel on the right side. Toe heel together switch. Good. Left side. Good. Again, right and left. Last one on the right. Last one left. Now ski slope. Hips are in the back of the chair. Abs stay tight. Switch those legs. Four more. Four. Three. Good. March those feet. Roll the arms at the chest. Push off the floor. Now deep breath in. Roll those arms up to forehead. And come out. Or come down. Good. You can relax the legs. We're going to work on our postural muscles. We're going to extend both arms straight. We're going to press the shoulders down nice and easy. Now we're going to contract the shoulder blades together. Okay, we're going to rotate our arms to face forward. Now we're going to make a W with the arms by contracting both sides of the back in together towards the spine. And deep breath in and make a W, bringing your shoulder blades in and down. Never up. Always protect your neck. Don't shrug those shoulders. You're contracting the shoulder blades in and down. The elbows come in because you're contracting the back muscles together. Good. This is strengthening your back. We all want strong backs for multiple purposes especially for our posture. Contract. Always protect your neck muscles. There's no strain on the neck here. And as always, if you ever experience pain, stop. Nothing should be painful. Nothing should be an extra pain. Good. Contract. And relax those arms. Shoulder rolls up and back making sure that you have those neck muscles nice and relaxed and shoulders nice and relaxed. Good. Extend both hands down to the floor and reach them back. Open up the chest. Open up the shoulders. Stretch out the biceps, fingertips, forearms. We want to stretch out the front, contract, and strengthen the back. And relax down. So I don't know about you, but I am forward facing throughout the day. And sometimes the posture goes with that. The posture and the head go forward. So an exercise class, reach those arms up. An exercise class, we want to make sure that we stretch out the front, strengthen the back. Always working on our posture. Good. Grab a water. Make sure that you're well hydrated. You can extend the arms up to shoulder height, rotate them facing towards each other, and then contract the back muscles, both sides, right and left, in. Good. Deep breath in. Contract. Work the back. Always strengthen the back. Good. Excellent. Deep breath in and out. Go at your own pace. If this is too fast, don't worry about it. Go at your own pace. Importantly, 
you know exactly what muscle groups you're working. You're working your back muscles, the major muscle, the latissimus dorsi that starts at the spine. Contract those two sides, right and left, in together. That's what brings your elbows in. Good. Roll those shoulders up and back. Check your neck muscles. Make sure there's no stress in your neck muscles. Take a deep breath in. Fill the muscles with lots and lots of oxygen. Good. Deep breath in. Get oxygen to all of those muscles. And now you're going to scoot to the edge of your seat. Scoot to the front of your seat. I'm going to turn my chair sideways so you can see. Scoot to the edge of your seat. Both feet flat on the floor. Check that posture. We're going to hinge from your hip joint, okay? We're going to hinge back. Breathe out. Fully contract this abdominal wall. Deep breath in and out. Good. Deep breath in and out. Good. Deep breath in and out. Good. Four more. Good, last two, last one, good, now scoot your hips to the back of the chair, one heel down, one heel up, quadricep, okay, we're going to strengthen this quadricep, your quads start at your hips, they are your thigh muscles, they keep your kneecap in place and attach at your shin, contract the quadriceps, you want to go towards the origin, towards the start of the muscle, which is at your hips. So think about that full contraction, quadriceps four, four parts. Fully contract that thigh muscle each time. Every time you work your major muscle groups, such as your quads or your glutes, your hip muscles, that drastically increases that heart rate nice and Nice. Good. Breathe out. So if you notice that your heart rate is still up quite a bit, that is probably why you're working those major muscle groups that require all that oxygen and circulation. So good job working those quadriceps. Concentrate now on one quadricep. Good. Exhale on the exertion. Excellent. Two more. Breathing out. Fully contract. Good. Now scoot your hips back up to the front. We're going to hinge back at your hips. Nice straight back. Spine. Hinge back. Breathe out. Lift up. Good. Deep breath in. And breathe out. Good. Deep breath in and out. Deep breath in. We're going to contract those abs. Good. Four more. Breathe out. Four. Three. Breathe out, two, last one, good, deep breath in, and out, extend that leg nice and straight, you're going to work those quadriceps again, this time a little differently, you're going to lift the whole leg up off the floor, <laughs> good. I'm laughing because my husband is trying his hardest not to get in the screen, and he's slithering like a snake on the floor in between the light fixture and the table. The joys of living in a small space, right? 
and switch sides. There's many joys. <laughs> Breathe out. <laughs> Good. Breathe out. <sighs> Lift. Abs stay tight. You're kind of hinged back. You know, it's impossible to stay upright. So I'm hinged back, but I still have a straight spine because my abs are contracted. Good. Two more. Breathe out. Last one. Excellent. All right. Deep breath in. And out. Good. We're going to do some toe taps to the front. A couple more combinations. Keep that circulation going. Row the arms. Feel the stretch on the top of the foot. Now out to the sides. Excellent. Four more. Four. Three. Good. Single kicks. Right and left. Contracting the thigh. Excellent. Four more. Four. Three. Now, two marches out to the sides, and then two in. Excellent. Last two. Last one. And then single kicks. Four more. Four. Three. Good. Back to toe taps to the front, right and left. Rowing the arms. Now we're going to go out to the sides. So just four. Three. Good. Single kicks, right and left. Excellent. Four more, four, three, two marches out to the sides, two in, pushing off the floor, excellent, good, two more, last one, and then single kicks, four more, four, three, Good. Single toe taps to the front, right and left. And then out to the sides. Good. Single kicks. Contracting the thigh. Four more. Three. Good. Two marches out to the sides. Two in. Abs stay tight. Good. And then single kicks right and left. You got it. Four. Three. Good. Now we're going to walk four marches up to the front and four marches in with a hand roll in the chest. Good. Again. And then two marches out to the sides, two in. Out wide, inside. Good. Good. Four marches to the front, roll the arms. And in. Again. Good. March it out, march it in. Good. And then march it forward and in. Good. One more time. Walk it up and back. Good. March it out, march it in. Pushing off the floor. Excellent. Again, walk it forward. This is fun. Exercise is fun, right? Should always be fun, never painful, just slightly uncomfortable. Good. And in, march it out, march it in. Really push off the floor. Feel the floor with your feet if you're able to, and really push off. Work those outer and inner thighs here. We'll do one more, 
And now single toe taps to the front. That first combo, roll the arms forward and back. Good. Now out to the sides. Good. And then single kicks right and left. Good. Four more. Four. Three. Good. March it out. March it in. Excellent. And then single kicks right and left. Four more. Four. Three. Two. And then march it forward. Roll the arms. And in. Forward. And in. Good. And then march it out, march it in. Good. And then march it forward. And in. And in. One more time. Good. March it out, march it in. Push off the floor with those feet. Good. Again. And single toe taps, forward and back. And then out to the sides. And then single kicks, right and left. Four more, four, three, good. March it out, march it in. Again, super important to work these outer and inner thighs. Good, one more time. Back to single toe, or single kick, excuse me. You got it. Contract that thigh each time. Four more, three, Good, last combo, march it up to the front. Four walks to the front with a clap and then four walks in. Good. Good, and then two marches out to the sides. Abs stay tight. Good, deep breath in. And out. I'm lifting my heels up one at a time just to kind of slow down that circulation a little bit, but still moving. Excellent. Now that our muscles are nice and warm, extend one leg out by scooting forward towards the edge of the seat, obviously, or carefully. Make sure that you're firmly on your seat. Other foot flat on the floor, a little five degree bend here. Deep breath in with a flat back and then hinge forward with a flat back, elongating your torso, feeling the stretch behind the leg. Chest is open. Deep breath in. Deep breath in. And then carefully come up, roll the ankle around in a circle, and then back the other way. And then bend the knee and cross it. Place the hand underneath the knee joint. Here, I'm gonna turn towards you. And then make sure you have a nice flat back. And then if you want, you can hinge forward. Should feel a stretch right here in that side of the hip. Chest is open, deep breaths in. Carefully come up and extend that leg out to the side. This foot is nice and flat on the floor. You're stretching this inner thigh here. All weight on the opposite leg and hinge forward when you're ready. Keep that head above your heart and your chest open. Knee and toe need to face the ceiling. Good. Carefully come up. And then change sides. So stretching out the other hamstring. Only weight on the other side. Hinge forward with a flat back. 
feeling the stretch behind the leg, hamstring stretch. Head above the heart and the chest open. Good. Breathing in. Excellent. Carefully come up. Roll that ankle around in a circle. Back the other way. And then bend the knee and cross it over. Hand underneath the knee joint, sitting up nice and tall. If you'd like a deeper stretch, you can hinge forward. Keeping the chest open. And carefully come up. Take that leg out to the side. Knee and toe face the ceiling. And then hinge forward, pulling the stretch on the inner thigh. Excellent. Carefully come up. Good. And then both feet together. <coughs> One more set of the abdominal crunch. Now, this time, only if you'd like, you could work the obliques a little bit more. And the obliques, I say that just nonchalantly, but you really should concentrate on the obliques before trying this. Place your hands on top of your hips. Your obliques are above that hip bone and below your rib cage. They are your waist abs. They start at your back and wrap around to the front. Those are the abs that you contract to protect your spine. Both feet are flat on the floor. Now you're going to concentrate on one side going towards the other and up. This is extremely hard to do and to, to kind of feel comfortable the first time. So if this feels too foreign, feel free to do the regular ab crunches all the way back and all the way up. I just wanted to give that extra opportunity to, um, I guess, like one extra notch up if you want to a little bit of a of a challenge but this is great the abdominal crunch always want to try new things right two more I like to breathe in on the way back and then out on the way up contracting my belly button in towards my spine each time now let's Try to stretch out those hip flexors. Did you feel those the muscle that connects your torso to your legs kind of contract? They're right here, the hip flexors. If you are in a chair without arms, go ahead and place both feet towards the right side. Make sure that your inside thigh is firmly on the seat. You can go ahead and grab the chair. Just make sure that you're nice and safe always. And then only if it's comfortable. Relax the outside leg down. Sometimes I like to um, turn my toe down, but you're gonna you're gonna stretch out this hip flexor right here in the front and quadricep. Grab hold of your chair and then just kind of hinge back. You're gonna take a deep breath in. Fill those muscles, the hip flexors and quadricep, with lots of oxygen. If you are in a chair with arms, so stay there. If you're in a chair with arms, just do the same thing, but kind of towards the front here. I'm going to go to the side just so it's more visible. And you can see that both knees are at 90 degree angles. And you should feel a stretch in your quadriceps and hip flexors. And then when you're ready, you can go ahead and carefully, I have to help that leg up just so I don't have any sort of too much of a contraction in those hamstrings. And then over to the other side, again, making sure that the inside thigh is firmly on the chair. You can go ahead and grab hold of the chair and then just relax the outside leg down. Knee facing the ground. And then open up that hip flexor. Open and stretch the quadricep. You can take that same arm up. Deep breath in.
good. And then carefully, like I said, I like to physically help my leg in. You can scoot your hips to the back of the chair. Roll those shoulders up and back, really relaxing your neck and your shoulders and your chest. Good. Deep breath in and then rotate the palms to face me. Bend the elbows to 90 degrees and then from your shoulder joints only, contract your shoulder blades together in the upper back. Contract your shoulder blades together, neck and shoulders, nice and relaxed. Good. Excellent. Rotate. Shoulder blades together. Opening up that chest. Excellent. Three more. Good. And relax. Good. Let the let gravity just relax your shoulders down. Let the weight of your head rest your ear towards your shoulder. Good, and carefully come up, and then let the weight of your head rest your ear towards your shoulder. Good, and carefully come up, have your chest open, and then chin towards your chest. Feel that stretch in the upper back and back of your neck. And then carefully come up, take a deep breath in here. Wiggle those toes around. Good, now roll your wrists around in a circle. Feel that stretch in those wrists. Feels really nice. And then back the other way. Excellent, extend all 10 fingers out. Stretch them out. Good. And wiggle those fingers, playing the piano. Good, fingertips down and up. Good, deep breath in. Fill your muscles with lots of oxygen and relax down. Deep breath in and down. Good, hands rest on your thighs, wiggle your toes around. Good, and carefully go ahead and close your eyes if you'd like. Then you're gonna concentrate on your forehead, jaw and chin muscles. Deep breath into those muscles. Exhale and relax those muscles. Again, deep breath in and relax those. Concentrate on your neck muscles. Fill them with oxygen. Exhale and relax your neck muscles. Again, deep breath in, fill them with oxygen. Exhale, relax, front sides and back of the neck. Now concentrate on your shoulders. Deep breath into your shoulders, including your joints, and then exhale and relax. Deep breath in, exhale and relax. Good, now concentrate on your biceps and triceps. Deep breath into those muscles. Exhale and relax those muscles. Deep breath into your elbows, forearms, wrists, and hands. Exhale and relax all of those muscles. Deep breath in. Elbows, forearms, wrists, hands, and fingers. Exhale and relax all of those muscles. Deep breath into your quadriceps. Deep breath in. 
Exhale and relax. Deep breath into your hamstrings and glutes. Exhale and relax. Again, deep breath in. Exhale and relax. Deep breath into your knee joints. Exhale and relax your knee joints. Good. Now deep breath into your shins and your calves. Exhale and relax. Deep breath in. Exhale and relax your ankles, your feet, and your toes. Good. Now take a deep breath in for four counts. Two, three, four. Exhale, relax your whole body. Again, deep breath in. Two, three, four. Exhale for four. Three, two, one. Deep breath in. Two, three, four. Exhale, relax your whole body, head to toe. Good. Wiggle those toes around. Carefully open your eyes when you're ready. Take a deep breath in and give yourselves a great big hand. Excellent work getting your cardiovascular work in, your strength training in, your stretching in, and of course your relaxation.